towards Jetson. Stop shock. Jetson. Apple, can he make that quick run? Goes towards Apple. Apple's pace against Winter. Winter moved across Apple. It's a back. It's a, it's a red card. There's Apple on the ball now. Taking on the. Uh, and it's there, it's a shot by Marcus Martin eventually. Apple making a good run at the Dover defence. That was the last season's heated affair, ending in a 1-0 victory for Tro City. And I wonder what's in store for tonight's game. One thing for sure, City could be in for a tough encounter as Dover haven't lost away from home all year and currently sit third in the league table. Team news is that uh, we were looking forward to perhaps the same starting 11 as Saturday, but uh, skipper Jake Ash has picked up an ankle injury, and uh, so the starting 11 brings in Karen Hall in place of Jake, and uh, alongside him on, on the subs bench tonight is a welcome return to Martin Watts, who's been out of the game for, uh, what, almost two years, 22 months or so since he last played, picking up an injury for the first team. We welcome him back, and alongside him and Jake is Danny Korn on the bench. Pyrrhon and Films will bring you the action after the break. My name's Simon Latash. I'm a jazz and classically trained pianist and uh, I'm available for weddings. I play classical music. Often at weddings, often people request their own favourite piece of classical music and often they ask me for jazz tunes as well. I play during wedding breakfasts and I can also play during the evening function. and it was Moore who won that one for Truro. Quick turns and gets Watkins in the game. Good good pace again by Andy Watkins and uh, wins the corner. Forward at the corner. Williams went near post. Hodges with a header and then it's flicked on. And it's another corner, this time on the far side. Before again, it went near post last time. This time it's uh, more up in the air. Karen Hall gets the header and Cook got the touch to it. But uh, just wide. Cecil clears, but only as far as Bobby Hopkinson. Middle ball to Cody Cook. With the wind behind him, decides to have a go, but uh, from the moment he left his foot, he was always going to go over the bar. Just over the half hour, Hodges with the free kick. Up goes Moore, in with a shot by Brawl, which is blocked and uh, almost the opening goal of the game. Now it's City again on the move. Martin out to Les Affel. Comes inside, but his run is blocked, and now it's Marcus Martin. Little ball, delicate ball into Watkins. Watkins with a, with a shot, but good attempt. Bricknell on the ball, now to turn. Using Ricky Modest on this left flank on this occasion. Taken on Hopkinson. Cross comes in, McCormick went up for it, and somehow, it, somehow, it is flicked into the net, off the, off the Dover strike force, and it's, uh, what is it, after 37 minutes, Ben May the score, but uh, not the class, it's the goals, but it's 1-0 to Dover. So, second attempt, Lizaffo's corner comes in, Moore meets it, but... Heads over the bar. Darren McMahon taking it short to Bricknell. Back to the man who took the free kick. Hopkinson doing well, getting in there. And Broad hooks it away. Moore flicks it on. Andy Watkins down, running on into the penalty area. Taking on Shuke. Goes outside of him, across the box, but McMahon clears for Dover. Plenty of movement in the box. Moore gets a foot to it, but it's cleared by Ricky Modest. Hodges to knock it back in. Moore flicks it on, but uh, again, it's cleared by the fullback, Cecilio. And now it's a break on, perhaps, for the visitors. Ricky Modest, little ball into Bricknell, but 
well read by Joe Braun. And then he finds Andy Watkins inside the Martin. Moore has got to hang on, otherwise he's offside, but he did. Now it's uh, the number nine in possession. Into Cody Cook, who Cook looks to shot, shoot, and a brilliant effort, brilliant shot by Cody Cook. They're just touched away by the keeper, Mitch Walker, at the last moment. And uh, that long kick by Walker going all the way through. And in fact, uh, Woolock was the man who put it in the net, but the whistle just gone just before that for the infringement on Hodges. Corner comes in, it goes over more, and then it's at that far post, Ben Williams. But uh, Williams touch, couldn't get it past the keeper. Uh, Hopkins is thrown down that touch on net by Winter. No Woolock bringing Daryl McMahon into uh, play on that far left. Falls to Kogan, Kogan to Bricknell, and there we have the killer second goal. 30 minutes into the second half, and it looks simple come the end, but it's uh, Dover's top scorer, Billy Bricknell, making it double figures for him this season with his 10th as Dover go 2 0 up against Truro City. There's Affle with the corner. It's a better one this time. Two players go up for it over both the Dover's and Truro's players as Andy Watkins turns in the box. Gets past Sessignon, knocks it back, but it's blocked. And then uh, the ball by Martin. Another throw which Williams will take in towards Moore, but cut out by Huke. Now it's Adam Ola running at the uh, hard to the true defence. Bricknell on the ball, using the substitute Woolock. Woolock with the effort into the back of the net. Look for offside, but the break was on, and it's a Woolock third goal for Dover. And City now trailing by 3 0 with about three minutes to go.